Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can run Windows 8 on your Mac using Boot Camp. Now, I believe that Boot Camp is the best way to run Windows on your Mac, and especially Windows 8. Um, people have been trying Windows 8 in virtual machines, and while it does work sometimes, other times it just doesn't work at all. So I have my Mac partitioned with Windows 8, and I'm going to show you how you can do that too. So what you're going to need is, first off, you're going to need the Windows Developer Preview ISO file, and if you go to dev.windows.com and then you click get started, you'll see different downloads here. Now for this demo I chose the 32-bit edition. The 64-bit one will also work, but I just chose the 32-bit because it's a little bit lighter. And the link to this website will also be right below the video if you want it. Now you should make sure that your Mac has at least 2 gigabytes of RAM for this and probably about 20 gigabytes of hard drive space at least to run Windows 8. And the only other requirement is that you're going to need a DVD drive. So you MacBook Air owners or Mac Mini owners might not be the best thing for you. For you. I've heard that you can use a USB flash drive and install Windows 8 that way. But that's not something I'm going to go into because Boot Camp doesn't really play nicely with USB flash drives. So assuming you've downloaded your ISO file, and here's mine right here, the 32-bit edition. What you're going to do is you're going to pop in a blank DVD that you need to burn that file onto. So I'm going to push the DVD in now. And you should see a little menu pop up on the screen within just a few seconds here. And it'll give you a little list of options that you can choose from. So from here I'm just going to go in this menu and select Open Disk Utility. And hit OK. So now here's Disk Utility and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Super Drive. And here is my internal a disk drive. So now I will click on burn. Now I've already burnt a DVD of Windows 8, so I'm not going to burn one again because I already tried out this process to make sure it worked. Uh, but basically what it'll do is you'll select this and you click burn. And now it's going to give you a couple different options. It's best to just leave them all alone. And then you'll click burn. And this will take roughly about 20 minutes, at least it did for me with the 32-bit edition. And once that's done, you can quit Disk Utility. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is open up Boot Camp Assistant. So I'm going to open up a new Finder window and go into my Applications folder and scroll down to Utilities. And from here, I'm going to find Boot Camp Assistant right in the Utilities folder. And I'm going to open this up. Now here's something important that you should really do before you set up any type of Windows installation on your Mac. You're going to want to back up your hard drive. Now this is something I should be doing, but I actually don't have a backup of my hard drive right now. So don't follow my path this time. Make sure you back up your hard drive because something could go wrong during the installation and partition process and you could end up with a very sad Mac. So from here you're going to want to click continue. And now you're going to see two different options. And you can either download Windows support software for this Mac or you can select that you already have the support software. And I'm going to select that I already have it even though I don't. Uh, this is because a lot of the Windows support software does not work with Windows 8 yet so it's pretty much pointless. Now I did experience a couple issues that might have been resolved by downloading the Windows support software. Um, one of them was actually a pretty big one that I wasn't able to scroll with my magic mouse using Windows 8. Now I would assume this would be fixed with the support software but it's not something I really want to try in case it gets messed up. I'm going to click continue. And if you're just installing Windows for the first time, you won't see the screen, but since I already have it installed on a partition, uh, it just gives me two options. I'm just going to hit continue. And on this screen, what you'll see is a slider. And from here, you'll be able to adjust the size of your Mac OS X volume and your Windows volume. Now, since I already have it partitioned, the only thing I can do is restore, uh, but as you can see with the screenshot on the screen, you'll be able to drag the slider and select how big of a partition you want for your Windows installation. And now after you've selected the size that you want for your Windows installation, you're going to click Partition, and after that you're going to want to select Start Windows Installation. At this point your computer will shut down and restart into the Windows setup process. Now you can see here that after you've clicked Start Installation, your Mac is going to restart and you're going to see 
loading files on your screen and this is how the Windows 8 installation process begins. So at this point you're going to see the install Windows screen and you're just going to follow the instructions it gives you. So I'm going to hit next and install now. Now you'll have to accept to the license terms. Click next and I'm going to select custom which is advanced because I want to install a new copy of Windows. Now you're going to see all different types of partitions here and you're going to select disk zero partition now this may not say partition 4, uh, but it's the one that says boot camp. Now once you've selected your boot camp drive, it's going to say it cannot be installed. So you're going to have to click on driver options. And then from there you have to click format. Then you're going to have to click OK. And then you can click next. Now from here it'll install Windows 8. And this will probably take at least a half an hour or so. Just sit back and relax. So as the installation is completing, your Mac will restart two times and then you should see this screen from here and I'm going to go through the setup process and then we'll see what happens next. So after you complete the setup process you should see something similar to this and uh, this is your Windows start screen. So there you go you can see Windows 8 running on my iMac here and I can say it's relatively fast but you can try it out for yourself on your own Mac now with boot camp and a simple Windows installation DVD. You may run into some problems just because it is pre-release software, so once again, make sure you back up. Um, I'm fortunate to not have any problems since uh, I don't have a backup. But that's really about it. So there you go. That's how to install Windows 8 on your Mac with Boot Camp. If you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.